Oh man, this movie is fucking terrible. Nurse 3D is what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, Nurse 3D. I don't remember it ever coming out in the theater, so I don't know. I don't really know why they shot it in 3D for like a like a streaming release. I guess like 3D TVs were like a kind of a thing they were trying to promote for a while, so that might have been it. But um, I've never I've never heard of it coming out in like uh any theaters or anything like that. Um, just like straight to video. It's real bad though, man. And I, the, it sucks because I really really wanted to like it, like a lot because like I don't know. It just it seems like a movie I'd like, right? Paz de la Huerta. Super hot, consistently naked and like everything she's in. She's like the, uh, she's the main character in this, pretty much. She's like the title character, the titular nurse, if you will. She's got, like, most of the screen time. But, um, you know, and it's like, I can't think of any movies where she heads them off, you know? And she's not, like, a bad actress, you know? It's not her fault. I don't think it's her fault. <laughs> it's, um, I think it's, a. Uh, yeah, it's 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 the um it's the writing and the direction. That's all it is. Cuz like what this movie is, right? If you don't know about it. This is on like anytime you go on Netflix, you'll see this, right? If you if you like just right when you hit like N in the search menu, <laughs> like in the little search bar, nurse will come up. I don't know why they want you to watch this movie so fucking bad. It's um it's real real bad. But what it is is it's like it's like a sexy nurse who's also like a serial killer. She's out of her fucking mind. And uh, she kills guys who like cheat on their wives and shit like that. And that's like her whole thing. Um, that's like her, her entire character, you know? And like, it's just bad though. And I really wanted to like it because it was kind of sold to me as like one of those like late 90s fucking sex thrillers, you know, like one of those <laughs> ridiculous, which I love, I love those, like I love like Basic Instinct and fucking, you know, like uh, Fatal Attraction, fucking um, even Color of Night, even though it's so crazy, I should do a fucking Color of Night video, that, that movie's insane and awesome, uh, it's got so many good actors on it, but um, yeah, man, like, it seemed like it was gonna be one of those. It seemed like it was gonna be, like, a... Just kind of a... Like a sexy... Softcore... Porno, like, thriller. Like, from like from the like from the 90s, you know what I mean? Like, all those, like, Showtime-ass movies. You know, or, like, at, you, you know, at that point, they were, like, um... They were coming out, like, in theaters. <laughs> and they were, they were a big deal. Which is awesome. The heyday of, like, really terrible shit. And everybody would be all, like, super mad about them because, you know, they'd have Bush or whatever in it. And there was, a, there was that infamous beaver-like shot. Or, like, it was actually it was full-on vagina for uh, Basic Instinct. Everybody was just freaking out. Oh, man. Those good times. Controversy like crazy. That was, like, fucking insane controversy before the internet. I remember, like, Color of Night. Fucking, um... Bruce Willis gets his dick out in that movie. Or he did. I think he does in the unrated one. And everybody just lost their fucking minds. They're like, oh no, it's a soft dick on TV. Or, not on TV, like on the on the big screen. There, there's a dick. What are we gonna do? You know what I mean? Even though there's been dicks before. There's like a ton of dicks in movies. For some reason they chose that one to freak out about. I don't know why. Color of Night's awesome. But Nurse, <laughs> Nurse 3D, on the other hand, is fucking not. It's, um... Yeah, but it starts out, it starts out alright, because, you know, it starts out with some murder, you know, and it's, like, it starts out real pretty, and, like, really well edited, and, uh, it, like, I, I guess, I think it hadn't, like, the first scene of the movie hadn't, uh, the movie hasn't been on long enough to have actually be annoying, you know, <laughs> if that makes sense, because that's one of the things about this movie, is it's fucking annoying. Like, I don't know, and it shouldn't be either, because, like, 
Pastel and Huerta, she's she's like a good actress. She's been in a ton of good shit, you know. But they um like her entire direction and like her whole character it's just like a girl who's real super mad about people who cheat on their wives. Like real mad. And um she does the sexy baby voice, like all the like the like the whole time. If 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 you know what I'm talking about, like the the she does that 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 singular voice that like people like kind of like hot girls from the fifties used to do, you know what I mean? Like fucking um she does that the Marilyn Monroe Jane Mansfield kind of a thing. Which like I understand what they were going for. Like w- with that whole like characterization, but it just doesn't fucking work. And also she's got a voiceover which just goes on through like the entire fucking movie. I'm going to reach over here really quick and get some coffee. Oh no. Ah, it's super cold in here. Oh my GoPro doesn't fall off this shoebox. I have it uh have it propped up on. But yeah, like I can tell like I know why they went with that because like, this movie just doesn't quite, like, take place in, like, our reality, you know what I mean? It's, like, very comic book, like, because she works at this, like, weird hospital with, like, just, like, this super, like, intense, like, core of nurses, you know? And they all wear those, uh, like, the old-timey nurse uniforms with, like, the little hat and stuff, like, the fetishy, weird nurse uniforms, you know? They don't dress like actual nurses dress, they're just in, like, pajamas, Pretty much, with, like, cartoon characters on them, you know? <laughs> but, um, yeah, man. Like, she works at a hospital and she murders people with kind of, like, vaguely medical ways, you know? Like, she, uh, slashes somebody's femoral artery with, like, a scalpel that she got from the hospital. And, like, there's one scene where she uses some kind of, like, paralytic drug to, like, paralyze a guy and make him get in a car accident and just... It's just, it's not great. It's just not a good movie at all. And I'm very disappointed because I really want to like it. It just seems like the kind of thing... The soundtrack's good, by the way. Before I go any farther, the soundtrack's fucking awesome. Um, but yeah, like, the rest of the movie's just pretty much trash. Like, Pasta Del is naked in it a lot. Like, a whole lot. And that's cool. But, like, you know, man... The internet, the internet's around now, you know, you can't really sell a movie on, on the naked girl, yeah. <laughs> right? Like, we're, we're past that era of, of, like, of filmmaking, you know what I mean? Like, it's cool when there's tits in movies, like, I'm not complaining, but, like, it can't be, like, the selling point. Like, I remember when, uh, there's that one fucking movie, what was it, Swordfish or whatever came out, and, like, Halle Berry got her tits out, and, like, they gave her, like, a million fucking dollars, because they knew... You couldn't just look up Halle Berry's tits on the internet and, like, have them, you know. So they were going to, like, recoup that, <laughs> that money in, like, box office sales in the first week because people were going to go, to you know, see this fucking, like, pretty bad movie about, like, cyber crime or whatever. Just just to, like, get a, get an eye full of the boobs. Which, you know, whatever. She's, she's got good ones. You know, I don't know if they're a million dollars good. But th- then again, like... You know, the market value of, like, actress tits has kind of gone down as of late, you know, with, like, glorious, or, you know, god technology. (laughs) But anyway. Uh, yeah, man, she's naked in a lot. But, like, that should not be a selling point for this film. You know, she's naked in better movies. Honestly, she's a good actress. She's been in, she's been in fucking good movies. She was in Limits of Control, which is awesome. Not a very big part. She's not like Nurse Three D Nurse, in it, you know, like she doesn't have. I don't think she has any lines actually. But uh, very there's very little dialogue in that fucking movie. Limits of Control is awesome, by the way. You should all see that. Fucking Jim Jarmusch, like crime thriller, kind of. Like, that's what he does with crime thrillers, though. Like, Ghost, like Ghost Dog, for example. You know, it's like a crime movie, but, eh, You know what I mean? Like, that's what he does with, like, all his movies, honestly. You know. Fucking Only Lovers Left Alive. It's a vampire movie. Eh, kind of. You know, Limits of Control is like that. It's, like, kind of about smuggling and murder, but, you know, it's more about, like, this guy's, like, weird philosophy and shit, like the main character. And, but Paz de la Huerta is so 
super nude in that movie. So if you know, if you're if you're looking for a filmic context to fucking check out, pause and uh, that's a that's a fucking that's a perfect example of a really really good movie that she's in. Boardwalk Empire. She's a uh, she's in that super naked in that. That's a really really good show. Even though I haven't seen like the the last like two seasons, somehow I just kind of lost interest. Or maybe I'm. I canceled my cable or something. Something happened. I don't remember. She's good in that. Um, Enter the Void. Not not my favorite film, honestly. Gaspar No or whatever. I think that's how you pronounce his name. You know. And it's not a bad movie. It's a pretty movie. She's in that. I think she's naked in that. Yeah, she is. Because she's the guy's sister, I think. Who dies. Because, uh, yeah, um, Enter the Void is all... All kinds of about, like, reincarnation and shit. And, like, this guy dies. Oh, no. IMDb. Come on, help me out here. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, while I unprofessionally look up information on the internet. Here we go. Pause. Uh, enter the void. That's like, it's got a 7.3. I don't know if I like it that much. It's okay, though. It's real pretty, and it's kind of gross, you know? Like Gaspar. Gaspar no movies are that, you know? But, um, all cast. Whatever, I think she's this guy, she plays this guy's sister in it. And it's like a brother-sister drug-dealing team in, uh, in Tokyo, and the guy gets shot by the cops, and, like, he gets reincarnated, and he goes through all the, uh, he goes through all the, like, Tibetan bardos and shit, but they, like, uh, they, they, like, demonstrate it, like, visually through, like, just, like, his memories and, like, he, this ghost is flying around, like, looking at shit that happens. But, um, at the end of the movie, he gets banged into his sister and reincarnates as her baby, so I think she's naked at the end of that, because she's getting fucked. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> the, the movie itself isn't, like, it's it's pretty, and it's, like, interesting to look at, but I don't know, like, I don't know if I'm a big fan of Gaspar now, really. It bothers me, because right before this guy gets shot, he's reading the Tibetan Book of the Dead, and he's talking about how cool it is, and he doesn't realize that he's going through all the bardos, getting reincarnated, and he's gonna come back instead of fucking, like, gaining nirvana and shit. I'm like, turn back, motherfucker! Quit thinking about all that bad shit, just, just go on, don't get reincarnated anymore. M Particularly into your sister, because that's just kind of weird. Anyway, that movie, not my cup of tea. People do like it, though, depending on your tastes. You know, I'm not saying it's a bad movie. I'm just saying it's, you know, it's not, I'm just not a, a huge fan of it. Anyway, Nurse 3D. Man, I've been fucking rambling. <laughs> Nurse 3D is terrible, though. Um, Pause is super naked in better movies. Uh, yeah. It's, uh, they try to, they try to do a lot. They try to do a lot with it, and I think that's one of the problems. Like, they try to do the 90s, like, sex thriller thing with it. And there's this whole thing where they, like, kind of cast doubt on, like, people's identities and shit like that. And it's kind of like, they go and, like, investigate, like, the orphanage where the nurse, like, came from, and it's like, but it's, it doesn't really matter, like, nothing in the movie really matters, nothing they do, um, yeah, and they, they kind of try to do, like, a little American Psycho with it, you know, with, like, the voiceover, but she's doing her sexy baby voice, like, the entire time, and it's really badly written, like, the dialogue is terrible, <laughs> it's super bad, and it's like, they're trying to have her say dirty shit, but it's like, the least sexy, like, dirty stuff, like, you could have people say, like, in a movie, you know? Like, and that's, like, half of her dialogue, half of her, like, internal dialogue is, like, oh, I want to fuck so-and-so, you know? Or, like, she's talking about, like, because she gets a lesbian crush on, like, one of her, uh, one of her co-workers, and they end up, like, going out and, like, going to some kind of, like, club or whatever, and, like, she, uh, she roofies, like, her co-worker, and, like, she, like, fucking, like, does a bunch of stuff to her and, like, films it. <laughs> and they, they fuck some guy as well. And, um, she's kind of, like, 
And she's got these pictures, and she's kind of like threatening like her uh, her her crush, who is a uh, Siri from Thirty Rock. That chick. If so, if you want to see her in a movie, she's been looking a ton of stuff though. Apparently, I was looking up her uh, her filmography. She's been in, like a lot of shows, and like kind of like smaller films, like straight to like streaming kind of like films, like this, you know. And like I think a few. Like major releases. She's not a bad actress either. But once again, like the writing in this movie is fucking terrible and the direction. <laughs> but yeah, like she gets all uh she gets all super lesbian crush on this girl and like she um gets her to cheat on her boyfriend, which is totally out of uh out of character for like somebody who's like a anti cheater vigilante, like and that's her whole like serial killer thing, you know. Which they could have done a lot more with. Like, they could have, um... I don't know, they could have dropped the entire, like, serial killer thing and just had her... Had it be, like, a stalker movie. That would have been way better. Have, like, all of... All of the murders, like, just kind of revolve around this... This, uh... The, the little crush she had, like, the stalker crush she has on, like, her, uh... On her, uh... Other, like, nurse friend. You know, that would have been a lot better, you know? I could have done that, and the movie would have been shorter. Because <laughs> it's also, it's really fucking long, or at least it feels long. You know? it's It actually, it took me, like, about three settings to get through this. You know? The, like, a, a movie about a murderous nurse took me three settings to get through. It's not fucking good, man. But yeah, like, so they go through a whole bunch of, like, shit, and she kills people who, like, cheat on their fucking, you know, spouses or whatever, and she stalks her friend, and, like... She has a, like a, a spooky, like, past that, you know, people are trying to dig up or whatever. But it's just, it, none of it's, none of it's very good. It's not very well written, not very well directed, not very well edited. You know, in spurts, it's really well edited and, like, really well shot. But, like, generally speaking, it just kind of, like, it all falls flat. There's just something that just falls apart, like, throughout the entire movie. It's just not great. And it's weird, too, because, like, the guy who directed it is, like, mostly a producer and, like, a second unit guy, so I can kind of see why it looks better than, uh, than it actually plays, if that makes sense. He's done, he's he's been, like, involved in, like, a ton of movies that I liked, you know, through, as, like, a producer or, like, a second unit guy, you know, or, like, an assistant director. He's been... Like, he's been, he was involved in, like, From Dusk Till Dawn, I think as a producer. Highlander Endgame, which was terrible. <laughs> what did he direct? He has 13 director credits. He's mostly, like, a TV guy. He's done, um, this Doug... Ar Arnie Owowski? Arnie Owowski? Yeah, he's done, like, Criminal Minds. Fucking... Um, like a... An instructional video about stranger danger, the safe side, stranger safety. <laughs> Something called Animals. Oh, I remember Animals. That was a really bad werewolf movie. Yeah, he directed that. Not great. Highlander Endgame, he directed. Okay. But, like, he's been assistant director on, like, a whole bunch of shit, man. Once Upon a Time in Mexico. Uh. Fear and Loathing Las Vegas, first assistant director, second unit. Like, he's been involved in, like, a ton of cool shit. And he's also, like, he helped write this thing, him and, like, another guy. You know? And this guy, this dude, this dude wrote Puppet Master 5, the final chapter. <laughs> and Puppet Master 4, which is two movies I totally love. You know? Oh, he wrote this movie with a different guy, though, who, like, He's been involved in some cool shit, but, like, in this, it just doesn't fucking work, man. None of it comes together. At the end, <coughs> they go back to the 90s sex thriller thing with, like, it seems like every one of those movies ends with some kind of, like, running fight where people are, like, hitting each other with, like, various objects they find, like, around a house. Seems like a lot of movies in that genre, like, do that, you know, and, like, the bad guy at the end ends up, like, either escaping miraculously or being killed by, like, scissors in the neck, dead again, 
Oh man, that's another one from the nineties. That's real good. <laughs> that might have come out in eighty nine, actually. It's got Kenneth Branagh and that lady whose name I can never remember, Emma Thompson. Oh fuck, so good. That's such a good movie. And the, that one's about like reincarnation. Like they killed each other in a past life and they come back, but they're the opposite people, and they're gonna kill each other again. Oh man, Dead Again's awesome. Shit, I'm gonna watch that later. <laughs> But anyway, you know, and this movie kind of feels a little bit like Dead Again. It's just like this running fight that's like running around, like people are like hitting each other with shit. She ends up escaping. But it's just, it's not fun or good or uh, thrilling. It's not thrilling. It's not actually even particularly sexy, you know, even though there's like a ton of tits in it and, you know, random stuff just because of, I think, the writing. You know, they really try to do like an American psycho with the, uh, did I talk about this already? This like, this fucking voiceover, right? That runs out through like the entire movie. They really try to like, you know, I think they're trying to make, uh, you know, like an American psycho. You're following the Patrick Bateman guy around like throughout the entire movie. And you're kind of like, why the fuck am I having fun? Watching this guy be an asshole and, like, murder people and do, like, weird shit. Like, regardless of if he did or not, you know, at the end of the movie, they, you know, leave it ambiguous as to if, like, he just went crazy because he was a crazy yuppie and he did too much coke. Or, you know, if he was actually a murderer, you know, like, I don't remember what they do at the end of the book. I read it, but I don't know. And apparently Rules of Attraction... Man, I'm talking about, like, every movie but Nurse 3D. <laughs> because it's bad. It's really terrible. There's, like, it doesn't have any redeeming shit on it. Uh, Niecy Nash is on it. She's good on it. <laughs> she's good in everything she's in. Um, but, yeah. So, they try to do the American Psycho thing. Or, like, the Breaking Bad thing where, like, you, you follow the bad guys around and you're, like... Oh man, why do I like this? Shit, you know what I mean? You feel gross or whatever. I think they're trying to do that, but it just totally doesn't work. Because the character's not interesting enough, for one thing. The character of the nurse, her name's Abby, I think. Abigail. <laughs> it's it's hard to remember. I've seen this movie almost three times, you know, trying to watch it. Because, like, I'd, I'd watch it and I'd forget what was going on and have to watch it from the beginning again bad news though man yeah but like the character is not actually charismatic or interesting she's she's the sexy baby voice you know and it's not Paz's fault she's i've Paz Dylan who wears those awesome you know it's just it's the director and the and the writing but yeah it's like the she's just the sexy baby voice she's got the one gimmick of like i hate it when people cheat on their wives or whatever so i murder them even though you know it's not entirely true it would have been cool if like Maybe she was, like, super delusional about the wife-cheating thing. And she'd murder people who actually weren't. But she'd, like, kind of conflate, like, a scenario in her head that they were. And, like, you know, it'd be kind of, like, her perception. And then you'd find out what, like, those guys were really about, you know, later on. That, that, that would have been awesome. But, of course, they didn't do it. You know, it's almost like... Uh, I don't know. It's real bad, though. But yeah, it's like, they try to do the... They try to do that. They try to do the American Psycho Breaking Bad thing. It just doesn't work out. You know, they try to do the, um... W with, like, characterization. Because she's definitely, for one thing, she's not the fucking main character of the movie. <laughs> like, no nobody has any, any character arc in the movie, really. But, um, she's definitely not... You know, the whole reason, like, or part of the reason those, that whole, uh, that whole formula works out in, like, those, in, like, American Psycho and, um, like, Breaking Bad and shit like that is because it's actually following around pe people who are the, you know, people who the plot, like, revolves around, right? <laughs> but this, like, the plot revolves around her friend after a while. You know, she meets her friend. She gets, it's just a mess. You know? And, uh, I hate it. And I'm really mad. 
the <laughs> it's such a good premise it's a wasted premise and it's dumb so sorry that took so long I kept, <laughs> I kept getting derailed by you know movies that this should have been like that are better that <laughs> oh man that I want to man but yeah watch dead again watch uh any other movie that I mentioned in the <laughs> <laughs> in this uh in this review and um i think i'm done this is 25 minutes long man i'm, I'm real sorry guys I'll, I'll i'll start making shorter videos <laughs> okay so uh 